Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer question in, uh, one of the comments on a video on, that we just previously did, regarding uh, Micro Four Thirds lenses and what to do for a wide angle. What do we have here? We have um, Try Ventures, YouTube username rating in. Uh, I have the 1235F28, the 35-100F28, the 25F17, and the 1260 kit lens. So those are all Panasonic lenses, all actually very good lenses. I'm shooting with the 1235-28 right now on the G85 right now. Great setup. Uh, and he says, and I'm debating on whether getting the LOA 7.5mm f2 manual lens or a 7-14 to f4 Lumix lens. So... The debate is, the question is, fixed prime, 7.5 millimeter f2, manual, or 7 to 14 f4 Lumix, zoom, autofocus. I can tell you what I would do. I would go with the Lumix, and here's why. It's a zoom, so I've got 7 to 14. Got some flexibility there. The f4 is fast enough for me, especially on a wide. I, I don't need the f2. And I really like the ability to have autofocus. Even if I'm doing a setup like this, having autofocus still allows me to touch, tap, and confirm focus. If I don't have an autofocus lens, I can't do that. I have to go back and adjust it. So especially in a one-person setup where you're not shooting with a crew, advantageous to have autofocus. Also advantageous, you got 0.5 millimeters wider. Not a huge amount, but it is wider. You got a 7 to 14 zoom. So you got the flexibility of a zoom. You've also got the Lumix lens, which is traditionally OEM lenses often work better than a lot of non-OEM lenses on the same brand body. In other words, put a Panasonic lens with a Panasonic body and you're probably going to get the best results. The 7.5 millimeter F2 Prime may be less expensive. I don't know. I have to check the price on that. I'll put a link below. You can check them out. Um, it is F2. It's faster. To me, at such a wide angle lens, I don't really need an F2. And I'm not, I, you know, when you're that wide, it's not really going to make that much of an impact on depth of field and bokeh, such as if we were shooting a longer lens, like an 85 or a 70 to 200. Uh, so f4 and f2, not a big difference to me. And the, and, and the zoom is a constant aperture f4. So for me, the way to go is the Panasonic 7 to 14 f4. Maybe price changes that for you. Maybe you like something different about the fact that it's an F2. Maybe you prefer it's a manual lens. A lot of people focus manually depending on how they're shooting video. So that's what I would do and why. I'm going to throw it back to you guys. Which one would you go with here? Would you go with the 7.5 uh, manual F2 Prime? Or would you go with the 714 Panasonic Zoom, the F4 Zoom? It's got autofocus. The Prime doesn't. What would you do and why? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Tri Ventures in making his decision. Thanks for uh, your comment, your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.